Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be examining C# -sharp object initializers. So right here, I have this employee class right here. Now notice that I have these two properties, the started date and the position. Okay. Now, when we say object initializer, okay, instead of us doing this, let me show you. Okay. We will go and define an employee object and let's call it employee. Now we will be calling each property. So employee dot, let's say the position is uh, CEO. And also let's set the started date to date time dot now okay so now notice that we have called in these properties right here okay and we have passed in some values to them and we can just like call them fine let's just uh, try to call the position okay I will just run it just uh, a quick run to see the values that we will get okay Notice that we are getting the same CEO value. All right. So now, when we say an object initializer, okay, that's mean when we first create a new instance of this class, okay, when I use the object initializer, instead of us having to go and write these properties each time, okay, and calling the employee dot position employee dot etc okay we want to lower the amount of code we are writing okay so how we can do that now let's go let's first thing first remove all this and let's add just two curly braces and a semicolon okay now notice with me that we did not need to call in the default constructor okay instead we just called in two curly braces and inside these curly braces, we can define or pass in the values to the properties instead of just having to call the employee object each time. So now let's start. Let's call in the position, uh, let's say a CEO. Okay, now we will need a comma between each property. Let's call the started date, date time, dot now okay and some there are if you notice there are some values that are inherited from the profile class okay but we just we will be fine with this okay so now let's run the application we'll not see a, a different result we'll just see the ceo right here and the ceo right here okay and even if we call the start date okay now both ways work okay both ways work uh, there are no difference between using an object initializer or using uh, the normal way let's call it it's just uh, calling an object with its properties there are absolutely no difference uh, just this way you can let's say minimize uh, the calling of the object and instantly when you uh, create a new object of this class you can pass in the needed value Alright, so I hope you enjoy and find this tutorial useful. Thank you for watching.